Believe it or not, reality can be much stranger than any science fiction story. What if I told you that a cat could be both alive and dead at the same time? No! This isn't a riddle or a wordplay. It's one of the most intriguing concepts in quantum physics, one that even challenged brilliant minds like Albert Einstein. Schrodinger's cat is not just a scientific curiosity. It raises fundamental questions about the nature of the universe, our perception of reality, and even how the laws of physics operate at the deepest levels of existence. But believe me, the answer to this mystery is anything but obvious. If you've heard about this before and found it confusing, today you're going to understand everything once and for all. But get ready. What you're about to discover might completely change the way you see the universe and how reality itself works. Imagine an eccentric scientist, someone unafraid to push the limits of logic. He places a cat inside a sealed box along with a deadly mechanism, a vial of poison connected to a radiation detector. The curious detail? This detector is linked to a radioactive atom that may or may not emit radiation within a specific time frame. If the atom decays, the detector triggers a mechanism that breaks the vial, releasing the poison and killing the cat. But if the atom does not decay, the vial remains intact and the cat stays alive. Here's the problem. According to quantum mechanics, until we open the box and observe what has happened, the cat is neither alive nor dead. It is both at the same time. That's right, a creature existing in two contradictory states simultaneously, a notion that defies all intuition. But before dismissing this idea, let's understand why this thought experiment became one of the most debated concepts in the history of science. Human intuition tells us that an object cannot exist in two states at the same time. Either it is here or there. Either something happens or it doesn't. But in the microscopic world of quantum physics, the rules are different. Quantum mechanics shows us that subatomic particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously until they are observed. This is called quantum superposition. Now, think about the radioactive atom inside the experiment's box. It has a 50% chance of decaying and a 50% chance of remaining intact. But as long as no one is looking at it, the mathematics of quantum physics does not allow us to say that it has already decayed or that it hasn't. Instead, it exists in a superposition of both states. And since the cat's fate is directly linked to the atom's decay, the cat also enters the superposition. It is both alive and dead until someone opens the box and observes the result. Does this sound like a meaningless mathematical trick? Maybe. But the most astonishing part is that this bizarre logic actually works. Our modern technology, from computer chips to lasers, is based on the same quantum mathematics that brings us Schrodinger's cat paradox. But if this still sounds absurd, just wait until you see the confusion this idea caused among scientists themselves. When Schrodinger proposed this thought experiment, he wasn't trying to explain quantum mechanics. In fact, he wanted to highlight how absurd it was to interpret its equations literally. And he wasn't the only one troubled by this. Albert Einstein, along with his colleagues Boris Podolsky and Nathan Rosen, also questioned this probabilistic view of reality. They argued that quantum mechanics was incomplete, that there must be hidden variables determining what happened in the microscopic world. To them, a cat couldn't simply exist in two states at the same time. It had to be definitively alive or dead before someone opened the box. The problem? Quantum mechanics offered no way to determine that. On the other side of the debate was Niels Bohr, one of the pioneers of quantum mechanics. Hey, I need your help to be saved from falling into space forever. All you have to do is like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. He argued that superposition was an essential feature of the universe and that only by observing a system did it decide on a definitive state. For Bohr, reality at the quantum level was not fixed. It only manifested at the moment of measurement. This meant that before opening the box, the cat existed in a superposition of both alive and dead. So, who was right? Interestingly, decades later, experiments were conducted to test these ideas and the results favored Bohr's interpretation. But if you think this settled the debate, you'd be mistaken. In fact, 
the question became even more intriguing. If there's one concept in quantum mechanics that completely defies common sense, it's the role of the observer in Schrodinger's cat experiment. The essential question is, when exactly does the cat stop being in superposition and assume a definite state? The answer sounds bizarre. The moment someone looks inside the box. Until then, it is neither alive nor dead. It is both. This may sound like magic, but it is one of the pillars of the Copenhagen interpretation championed by Bohr and his colleagues. According to this view, quantum reality remains fluid until it is measured. Measurement causes the wave function to collapse, reducing all possibilities to a single outcome. Now, this leads to an intriguing question. What does it mean to observe? Does it have to be a human looking at the experiment? Does a recording camera count? And what if we put another scientist inside the box to observe the cat? What happens then? Well, these questions open the door to even stranger theories, including the idea of multiple universes coexisting at the same time. If the idea of a cat being both alive and dead at the same time already seemed absurd, wait until you hear about the many worlds hypothesis. Instead of saying that the cat assumes a definite state only when the box is opened, this theory suggests something even more radical. It assumes both states, but in different universes. According to this interpretation, whenever a quantum event with multiple possibilities occurs, the universe literally splits into several versions of itself. In one universe, the cat is alive. In another, it is dead. But since we can only exist in one of these universes, we perceive only one outcome. This idea was proposed by physicist Hugh Everett in the 1950s, and as crazy as it sounds, it solves a major problem in the traditional interpretation of quantum mechanics, the so-called wave function collapse. In Everett's view, there is no collapse, only branches of reality unfolding infinitely. This means that with every quantum decision that takes place, countless parallel universes emerge. Now, think about the implications of this. Could there be a version of you in another universe who made different choices? Could there be a reality somewhere in the cosmos where you've never even heard of Schrodinger's cat experiment? You might be wondering. All of this is fascinating, but what practical use do these ideas have? After all, while superposed cats and parallel universes may seem distant from our reality, the same cannot be said about the technologies we use every day. Quantum mechanics isn't just an abstract theory for physicists to debate in conference rooms. It is the foundation of almost all modern technology. Computers, lasers, GPS, MRI machines, solar panels, and even the chips in your electronic devices exist because quantum physics works. And the impact doesn't stop there. We are entering the era of quantum computing, where machines like quantum computers promise to revolutionize fields such as artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and even the search for new materials and medicines. While traditional computers operate with bits that represent either zero or one, quantum computers use qubits, which can exist in superposition, meaning they can represent both zero and one at the same time. This allows them to process information exponentially faster. In other words, that bizarre Schrodinger's cat experiment, which once seemed like just a curious paradox, actually holds the very principles that shape the modern world. And if quantum physics has already given us all this, just imagine what the future might bring. If there's one thing Schrodinger's cat thought experiment teaches us, it's that reality may be far more complex than our intuition suggests. We are used to thinking that the world follows fixed and predictable rules, but quantum mechanics shows us that, at the most fundamental levels, reality is probabilistic, ever-changing, and in many ways, still mysterious. The big question is, what does this mean for our understanding of the universe? If particles can exist in multiple states until they are measured, and if even the distinction between different realities can be questioned. Hey, I'm still falling. You haven't subscribed to the page yet, right? Please, it's really important. Your support motivates us to keep making videos and improving every time. Thanks. Do we truly have a complete picture of the cosmos? Schrodinger's cat is not just a paradox. It is an invitation to rethink everything we believe we know about the universe, about science, 
and even about ourselves, perhaps. In the end, we are not just trying to understand a thought experiment. Maybe we are attempting to decipher the very fabric of reality itself. And the answer may be far deeper than we ever imagined. If quantum physics teaches us anything, it's that the universe doesn't care about what we find intuitive. Schrodinger's cat isn't just a strange thought experiment. It's a reminder that reality often defies our expectations and forces us to rethink what we know. But now the question is, how does this change the way you see the world? If even a simple experiment can reveal that reality is far more complex than we ever imagined, what else are we overlooking? Could science still hold answers that might revolutionize everything we believe to be true? If you want to keep exploring the mysteries of the universe, you need to check out our previous video. If light has no mass, why is it affected by gravity? This is another question that will make you rethink everything about the nature of reality. And of course, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos about the greatest mysteries of the universe. Because in the end, the more we learn, the more we realize how much there is still left to discover.